Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a universal ad inside Facebook Ads Manager. Now, it's important to uh, create a universal ad for a couple of reasons. The main reason is because when you're running these ads, you don't want to just go ahead and assume that you know stories ads are going to do great or you know Instagram feed is going to do great. You don't want to assume that. You want to go ahead and make sure that you're posting your ads on all placements, both on Facebook and Instagram, and letting Facebook dictate uh, you know where those purchases are coming from. Even if you realize that most of your purchases are coming from Instagram feed. I highly still recommend best practices not to turn off all placements and that you should be advertising in all placements because just because your ads are getting a lot of purchases on let's say Instagram feed does not mean you shouldn't be doing it on stories uh, you know Facebook audiences and really you're not losing anything you know uh, Facebook basically will optimize your ad and it will put money towards the place placement that is best optimized at that specific time uh, that the ad is currently running. So it's important to have an ad that looks great on all placements and that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead to the account that you want to go ahead and run the ad. Uh, we'll go ahead and click create and then go ahead and choose your objective. We're going to go ahead and choose conversions and we'll go ahead and click continue. After we click continue, um, you know, obviously, uh, if you want to turn campaign budget optimization on, but we're not going to go ahead and do that. The point of this is just to show you how to create universal ad, uh, your conversion event, you know, you're going to want that to be purchased. And then we'll go ahead and scroll down here again. We're, you know, when it, with respect to the audience, we're not going to go over that in this video. I'm just going to show you how to create, uh, you know, an actual universal ad. Now, this is exactly what I'm talking about. As you guys can see here, you have the option of doing automatic placements, and then you have the option of doing manual placements. I highly recommend you always do automatic placements. Again, even if you know most of your purchases are coming from, let's say, Instagram Stories or Instagram Feed, you should do automatic placements because one, it's recommended by Facebook. And over here it says use automatic placements to maximize your budget and help show your ads to more people. Facebook delivery system will allocate your ad budget across multiple placements based on where they are most likely to perform best. Meaning that just because you have all placements does not mean that Facebook is going to be spending money, let's say, on you know Facebook networks and it's not gonna get you purchases. You know, it's gonna allocate majority of your budget where it fits best. So you're really not doing yourself a disservice if you do automatic placements. Wherein if you do manual placements, you're doing yourself a disservice because you actually might get a purchase on the other placements that you don't think are gonna work great, but you can't you're not gonna be able to do that if you're actually doing manual placements. So Again, this is important. You want to do all placements. And now we're going to go ahead and get to the ad and actually show you how to create the ad. First thing you want to do is make sure that you have both Instagram and Facebook selected. We'll go ahead and turn on ad preview so we can see what the ad looks like. And now we're going to go ahead and start creating the ad. So uh, over here, first thing you're going to do is go ahead and make sure you choose an image. So we'll go ahead and choose this image. Um, you know, we recommend that your image should be a specific ratio, which is Instagram post. I believe it's 1080 by 1080. As you can see here, this is not 1080 by 1080, but I'm going to show you that, um, you know, we could actually crop it. As you can see here, it gives us recommended for Instagram stories. So I'll go ahead and do recommended. If we do original, you'll see here that, uh, you know, there is gray space right here, right? So we're going to go ahead and make sure we click recommended. And as you can see here, this is how it would look like on Instagram stories. So it'll be a full picture. Same thing here. We have recommended. So we'll keep it at that. If we do it one by one, it'll look a bit closer and it'll be cut off. And again, same thing here for right column. As you guys can see here, it says recommended. If you do original, it looks like that. And again, this is why uh, I'm showing you how to create a universal ad because this does not look professional, right? As you guys can see here, there's a lot of great uh, space right here. So I'll go ahead and click recommended. But what we'll also do is go ahead and crop the image so it could be focused on what we want and right here we want it to be focused on uh, this gentleman's face so perfect this is how it would look like so we'll go ahead and click next now um, we'll, I'll show you exactly what it looks like on all placements but what we're going to do first is go ahead and manually put the primary text the headline as well as the description now it's important with the primary text that you know um, if you if you have to go super long if your primary text is super long that's completely fine but what i'm trying to show you is you know how you can make it super optimal so this right here is optimal uh number of characters so as you guys can see here uh this is how it looks like we're going to go ahead and fill in the headline as well so with the headline we don't want it to be super long we want it to be enough to where 
it will actually look nice on Facebook uh, as well as Instagram. So um, actually the headline will only show on um, on Facebook rather than uh, Instagram. So if you look right here, uh, let's actually go ahead and finish filling this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is our headline and then the description, we'll go ahead and get the description, go ahead and copy it and I'll go ahead and paste it on here. Perfect. And then our call to action is going to be learn more. So now we can go ahead and take a look at what this ad looks like, right? Now, because we're using an image ad, some placements are not going to be available, such as video placements. But let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, you know, the other placements as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at these placements. So it looks like this is not uploading. Um, actually, what this is what we need to do. The first thing we need to do is actually put the URL of the website before we can view it. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll come back here and we'll go ahead and paste the URL. And for website URL, we're going to paste the actual URL. But then for the display link, what we want to do is just go ahead and use this URL. So let's say your URL, you know, actually for this website, it's actually championmethod.com forward slash Arabic. And I'll show you what the site looks like. This is the Arabic version of this client site. So this is exactly what the site looks like. So when we go ahead and copy this URL and put it in here, we don't want the display to show Arabic because if we ha if it shows Arabic, it's going to be super long and it's going to be cut off. So rather what we do here for display link is just have it super short like this. And the display link just means the, 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 the what it's going to look like here on display. But this is the actual URL that people are going to. So let's say your URL is even longer. Let's say this is your URL, right? It's completely fine. It's not going to be an issue at all because the display link will only show... Uh, what the what you have over here. So again, this is the link where you're sending people and then this is the link that we'll show right here. Now we can go ahead and start take a look at the preview and I will show you how this actually is a universal ad and how it looks really nice and professional in all placements. So over here we have Facebook newsfeed. As you can see here, uh, you know, we have the ad copy, right? Here we have the display URL, which is not cut off. Here we have the uh, headline, as you guys can see here. It's perfect. The headline is not too long. It's not cut off. And then here we have the description. So everything is readable, right? Everything on this ad is readable. Same thing with Instagram feed. Instagram feed, the image looks nice. And then over here, as you guys can see here, here we have the first two uh, rows, which, uh, you know, you want to make sure whatever is most important to be on the first two rows, because that's what people are going to see on Facebook as well as Instagram. So over here we have get access from beginner to advanced workout motivation and accountability. And then it gets cut off there. But here we have the main message, right? Um, here's what it looks like on Marketplace. So as you guys can see here, we have the website. We have the headline, $5, no excuses. Looks really nice and professional. Here's what it looks like on video feed. Again, we have the, the headline. We have the uh, ad copy. And then we have the call to action. Again, nothing is cut off, right? Here's what it looks like in Facebook right column. We have the headline, which is perfect. It's not cut off. And then we have the display URL with a really nice image. Same thing here on Instagram Explorer. We have the first two lines. And then this is what it looks like on Facebook Shop. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at stories, as you guys can see here on stories, the image fills the whole screen, right? Rather than the image being cut off and there being a lot of gray space, this image is perfectly centered in the middle uh, because we went ahead and we made sure that it is cropped for Instagram stories as well. Now, as you guys can see here for reels, this is going to be red because Instagram reels is all videos and this is obviously a picture, but so we would disregard that. But same thing, if this was a video, we wouldn't have no issues here, uh, assuming that the video is under one minute, which is the requirement for reels. Now, as you guys can see here, this is the actual universal ad. It is universal on all placements. So now when we actually go ahead and run this ad, it's going to look great on all placements, right? Nothing is cut off. Neither the image nor the headline nor the ad copy. Uh, everything is uh, perfectly situated. So that is that. Once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and click publish. And that is the end of this video, you guys. This is how to create a universal ad inside Facebook Ads Manager. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.